Well, we could always just toss some fish sticks in the oven and call it a midnight snack. But on the 504, we like to help you upgrade your life. Or maybe it's my life I'm talking about. Tonight, we are reinventing the midnight snack for after parties. Chef Eric, chef Eric Levine, the multi-award winning chef, restaurateur, and Arthur is here to help us do just that. And he's actually in town for a very cool conference. Yes. So welcome to New Orleans. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah so I'm here uh, for a few days teaching at the Cater Source Conference. It's like the world's largest gathering of caterers in the world for education. And it happens to be the 25th anniversary, and it started here in New Orleans, which is kind of a cool thing. That sounds like a so lot of fun. What are you from. teaching people there? So I'm teaching a lot of small bites, appetizer type things. It's kind of become my thing. I have a cookbook called Small Bites, Big Flavors, nice. which is available on Amazon.com. And it's all about the small bites. So when you have a party at home, you don't want to just be stuck and myopic in one plate. Right. You want to share different tastes, different textures. And that's what the book's about. That's what I was you know, teaching about. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a fun thing. So if you go to someone's home, making it simple and keeping some things that are common. Uh, for instance, like this dish here. OK, what uh, is this? This is a chicken, a version of a chicken and waffle bite. Oh. So what we did is we made a traditional waffle. OK. We cut it down into circles. The chicken is a uh, buttermilk battered fried chicken. Yeah. And then there's some house cured pickles. And we have a little bit of a garlic maple on there and then some country gravy. It looks so cute. So it's kind of fun. And we use these, uh, these skewers. And they're from a company called Pick On Us. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually it, my na they put my name on it, which is kind of a cool oh, thing, that's adorable. Put, which is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. So you know, for these, for these type of things at home, home gatherings, even like if you're throwing a big party at home, mm -hmm. you could set these out and people could come by and pick up kind of like this uh, smoked salmon. So this is a, a kind of a smoked salmon bagel concept okay. put in a jar. Right. So we have the smoked salmon here. Uh, we have a horseradish mousse in the middle, and mm. on top is actually bagel dust. No way! Yeah, so it's bagel, bagel dust. I have dust. never met such yeah. bagel dust, See, so. but I already like it. <laughs> we have some fun with it. You know, it's, it. It's about it's about textures and flavors and and the salt and the sweet and yeah. the balance and and it's you know again one of those things that. People walk by and they grab it and they can walk around. And that's the cool part to me. You turn it. things that wouldn't be party foods because you can't right. eat a bagel and salmon no. or waffle and chicken during right. a party. But now usually. you can. But right. now you can. It's just like these here, these mini tacos. Uh, we make these. So yeah, they're so much fun because and anyone can make them. The recipes in, in uh, the Small Bites Big Flavor book. What you do is actually take tin foil and you make like a little wave out of it. Okay. And then you take the tortillas, cut them into circles, mm -hmm. and put that in those bended waves. Oh, you the made oven. these yourself? Yeah, I thought you got yeah. these no, no, from a little no, dollar store no, somewhere on no. way over here. I actually made them myself. <laughs> That's and, impressive. And anyway, and then for this one, we did a little bit of short rib with a little bit of blue cheese aioli on top. And it's Yum. kind of one of those things that when you're home and hanging out, it's, a, it's an easy chip. Uh, to make right. it's something that you could put multiple things. You could put salads. You could go vegan, and you could put like a like well, that vegetables. vegetables. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and that's an important thing. So everything is interchangeable, and it's about again textures and flavors and and having fun. And, you know, staying away from the kitchen when your friends are there. Yeah, uh, and, and having you know an enjoyable time and watching the game or hanging out and talking and listening to music. And that's what this food is about. It's about connecting back with people, staying out of the kitchen all day. Because you can prepare all of these a day or two ahead. Ah, and that's even better. Yeah. You don't have to cook up no, until the party starts. Exactly. You just put together at the last second, lay it out, and let them have fun and eat and enjoy. Really yeah, nice. That's, well, that's this cool. is right after my own heart. I told you I can eat off the appetizer yeah. menu yeah. or other people's plates because I want to taste different yeah. stuff. And it's variety. And that's what life should be like. It should be about variety and, and having the choice and sometimes putting your fork in someone else's fork and tasting There you go. Food, yeah, right? you got to yeah. taste all yeah. over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite recipe in the book that you didn't bring here? You know what? They're all my children. I mean, even there's cocktails and desserts yeah. in there. So it's kind of everything is kind of. I really love all the things because it's sm the good. small bites. And you know, it, to me, I wrote the book not just because I love to cook, mm -hmm. but I wanted to share in that experience uh, of what I do. Really and cool. to bring it to people's homes, and they can bring it back to the kitchen. And it's, it was also designed to bring the families back to the kitchen so that they can be get back together and instead of worrying about social media and, and going out, they, they stay home, home and, cook. and have fun cooking. Does and, your family and help you cook? I'm never home, so I'm always okay. on the road. <laughs> at least you're gonna bring so other families together. At least other together. family. I can't do it for me, but I at like least that. I can spread the you love for others, others. You know, really That's cool. Awesome. And you've been on Chopped. You've got the cookbook. You've got restaurants. Yeah. What's next for you? What What's haven't you next? done yet? Um, fly. So that's you know, uh, parachute jumping. I hopefully one oh, day. But no, so I'm working on it. No, no. <laughs> but uh, a couple more cookbooks. I'm working on a new cookbook coming out in October. It's oh, called uh, Burgers, Bowls, and Jars. All right. So that's gonna be really excited. And uh, there's a there's a slight possibility of opening up a restaurant in Vegas. Really cool. Yeah, well, you so do your thing. Cool. Thanks for dropping by Thank New you Orleans. So much for Enjoy me. your time Thank here. You. I appreciate to keep up it. with Chef Eric, guys, make sure you visit his website, ChefEricLevine.com.